right, so today we want to talk to you a little bit about the G3 series trigger system. And this is something that we're really proud of because it, it really is a great trigger when you get out on, uh, start shooting out on the range and, and seeing what your performance is downrange. But a lot of times when you get behind the counter and you're looking for a new gun, if you don't know like what the benefits are of a two-stage trigger like the G series, then you tend to get a lot of trigger snobs out there that really creep through it, but that's not really how you pull a trigger. No, it? it's not, no. Right. <laughs> I mean, imagine if you went and shot a competition, right, and you drew your gun and you're coming in on target and you just slowly started pulling you'd that be, trigger. You'd right? be way behind. You yeah. don't do you'd that, be, right? You'd be close to last place yeah. for sure. So when we look at a, a good defense pistol, especially when you look at this gun, it, it, it does transition very well. The entire G, uh, G3 series family has this same trigger system. And when we look at it, when I talk about a two-stage trigger system, we're talking about we have a little bit of play, so this take up, and then a wall, and once we hit that wall, once it breaks, that's when the gun fires. So what we're doing here though, instead of grabbing the trigger and slowly pulling back, trying to find that wall, and then find it, letting the gun break, we want to go through a, a little bit of technique to help you alleviate that and get through that process a little faster. We wanna shoot sooner, right? and uh, that will make us a little faster. So when we look at this, as we present on target, we are prepping this trigger to the wall. So as that looks, as we press out, we prep the trigger, and now you can see where this trigger is on the brake. So when we're ready to fire, we have a nice brake, the gun resets, and then nice short reset. So now if we're shooting a long string of fire, we never have to leave the back of the trigger guard here, right? We can continue shooting until we're done, and then come off that trigger, okay? So that's what we talk about when we talk about a two-stage trigger. And we'll demo a few little things that kind of show off the benefits of this trigger and then some of the downfalls of people's trigger press when they get out on the range. So, Casey, if you want to go ahead and load yeah. up here. Let's do it. What I want to show off first is kind of the typical display and you, you can watch this right it's just visibly slower right so Casey this is something I see on the range quite a bit I want you to present the gun then put your finger on the trigger then prep and then let that trigger break okay right. and watch how long this process takes go ahead and load and make ready and then fire just one shot into the A zone there so we present finger on the trigger prep so now what I want you to do is let's shave one of those processes off so instead of waiting to put your uh, trigger finger on the trigger until you're fully extended, let's go ahead and put it on the trigger right now. And then as we present out, I want you to prep. So we're pulling the take up back and getting to the wall. So go ahead and do that. And then break. Perfect. You see that? It's already getting a little faster, right? So now what I want you to do is prep the trigger. And as soon as you see that dot on the target, because that's what we're trying to do, right? I've given them the allowance of the entire A box on this target. So now, as soon as that dot falls in there, I want it to break. So prep, break, all in one motion. Go ahead. All right, do it one more time. One more time. So you see how this is one motion now, okay? So let's go ahead and stage that out one more time, Casey. And we present, and then finger on the trigger, take up, break. So he's taking these four things and making them one motion. Okay, so when you get out on the range, you can go ahead and unload and, and show clear there. I'll see you clear. So when we get out on the, uh, behind the counter and you're trying to pick out your gun, try not to get up there and you'll see guys do this. They're like, all right. Oh, that's a good, you know, that's a bad trigger. It's, it's got a long take up. That's not what it's about here. We want to get out and see what it does out on range and this is how you prep the trigger. So as long as we have that very distinct wall like the G-Series trigger has and a good break and short reset point, we can run these guns really fast and really accurate when we get out here. So now that you know like what this G-Series trigger is, get out there and try it. Um, and then maybe you can come up and catch KC out on a match with this uh, G-Series trigger. <laughs>